What if you had a child who was this brilliant person, very extremely gifted one way or another? And then you watch their life, even as they grow up, going the very exact opposite. Not because they're a rebel, not because of being indisciplined or being a bad child and something like that. But for some reason, they just veer off the promise that you saw in them, the promise that they had. And instead of shining their light as you thought they would shine, and he, not just thinking, but you knew, you saw it in them, you saw their brilliance. For some reason, they just, they're not that smart. They're not just the active child that they were. They're just dwindling. They actually, they are shrinking. What will you do? It will burn you up, isn't it? It will not settle you. You'll have to start looking for answers. And so in the podcast, we've been talking about ways you could be shrinking instead of shining. And that child situation I've just told you, probably at some point in time, it is outside of your control. And sometimes it does happen to some parents. But I'm talking about shrinking because of your own making. And that's what we're going to discuss today in this episode. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. There is nothing as heartbreaking as a promise that is not fulfilled, especially if you are absolutely sure, 100% sure that that promise is going to be delivered on. And the moment you're supposed to get the promise delivered, it is not delivered, it, it fails. For example, you are expecting nine months, you're carrying a baby in your womb, and then the moment, sorry for using this bad example, but in the moment of delivery, there's no strength to deliver or something amiss happens. There's nothing as disheartening as that. And the thing with life is that it is akin to that moment. Every one of us in this life that we've been given, we are meant to shine our lights. And the, the world expects us to shine. And that's why we came. That's why we are here. But instead of shining, the moment that we are, our light is supposed to go on, the moment our magnificence is supposed to be seen around the world, the moment our glory is supposed to be brilliant and shining, that's the moment we're shrinking. We're doing things that are absolutely the opposite of what was required of us to do. And there are very many things that we can be able to do to contribute to shrinking. Like we said in the past episode, there are two things in life. It's a binary of options. We are either intentionally shrinking or maybe unintentionally shrinking or we are intentionally shining. That's just about it. There is no middle ground. We are either unintentionally shrinking in this world or sometimes we can even intentionally choose to shrink or... We are intentionally shining. There is nothing like unintentionally shining. No, you've got to be intentional about it so that you can be able to shine. And so things we do that make us to shrink. In the last episode, we saw that if you are living your life and it's a life of shrinking, probably it will be because this shrinking emanates from a crisis. A crisis comes your way. And you just floored. You just absolutely discouraged. You just, I mean, the strength is gone. The motivation is gone. The willingness to go about life is just gone and so on. And people start checking out of life. Some of them are so bold enough to physically take their lives and physically extinguish their lights. No longer to shine anymore. But some just stay on their lights being dimmed and them shrinking and them just 
surviving. But that is not the call of the human. The call of the human being is not to shrink. The call of the human being is to shine their lights on the face of the earth. You came with a promise. When you were born, there was a promise upon your life. When I was born, there is a promise upon my life. And I know if, if I speak for myself, the promise that I had was academics. I was good academically. I mean, I, when the examinations will come in primary school, although we moved from a very good school, which was always stopping the charts, in the whole country, and we went into a village school, even in the village school, I was always top five, top four, top three actually. Every time there was an examination at the end of the year, they will know that Lawrence is going to be among us the top three. And so I had a promise. And when the results came out at the end of the primary school, I was the top. I was the winner. Basically, I was one of the guys who got the highest score. The only guy who came above me was a guy who was doing it for the second time. But for me, I passed it with flying colors. And I knew that everyone knew that there is a promise in this boy. He's going places and they were right and they still are right. But you see, something did happen to me one day and I sat for my Form 4 examinations and guess what? The light had dimmed. The promise had been lost. I'd lost an opportunity to go to the university and maybe get a degree and so on. And there was no money for us to go and do it in a private way and so on and so forth. And in that moment in time, the promise that the man had academically, you could see in the minds of the parents, in the minds of the community, oh, what a great light that is being dimmed. What a great light, what an opportunity that has been lost. What a great mind that has been lost. And so they thought that I was dimming. My light was no longer going to shine. And even myself, that's the worst thing, by the way. Even myself, I started doubting. But you see, there was just that something inside of me that kept nudging me and kept telling me, Lawrence, you're meant for something greater, something bigger. You're much better than this. Degree or no degree, you're much better than this. But again, the reality of the matter, like I said in the previous episode, the reality, the brutal facts of the day will be like, you guy, you are jobless, you don't have a degree in this world that is glorifying degrees, you don't have a degree, how are you going to make it in life? How is your light going to shine? When you want your light to shine, you're going to do it deliberately, regardless of the circumstance or the situation that you're going to find yourself in. But when you want your light to dim, you just have going to do nothing. When you want to shrink out of this life, you just about do nothing. Or you can intentionally do some things that will make your light to start shrinking. And those are the things that we do, by the way, on a daily basis. On a daily basis, there are some things I would, you will be shocked to notice how much you're shrinking every waking day by these small little things. And it's not necessarily supposed to be some huge thing that, oh, he is now addicted to drugs, he's addicted to cocaine, he's now addicted to, you know, pornography and all those things. He's now, it's not necessarily those big things that are making your light to shrink or making you to start shrinking or making your light to start being dimmed. It is the small little things of a day to day, like we discussed in the previous episode, the decision to choose not to bow down to pressure. And I know I use an example of pressure in a crisis, but there's different types of pressure you can bow down to. You can bow down to peer pressure. You can bow down to pressure in society to, you know, to keep up with the Joneses. You can bow down to pressure to look like everybody else. In in fact, we had a quote the other day where this man was telling us, I think it was Waldo Emerson, who was saying that to be yourself, to stand up and shine your light in a world that is constantly trying to make you someone else is the greatest accomplishment and you can bow down to that pressure deliberately and the moment you do that the moment you make that choice that's the moment your light is dimming and that's the moment you start shrinking in life deliberately today i want to share something little something small 
that is actually contributing to you shrinking instead of shining. And it is something that we all know. Basically, it is something that we all are conversant with. It is something that we have done. But the thing is, when you find yourself constantly doing this over and over again, guess what? You have chosen to shrink. And by the way, you have chosen to shrink slowly but slowly in your life. At the end of the day, it is not the Big Bang. I don't believe in the Big Bang. Listen, in any form, in any shape or form, I do not believe in the Big Bang. There is absolutely nothing in the Big Bang. When is the last time something happened Big Bang in your life? Even if it was an accident. That accident was caused by something. Maybe someone crossed a lane. It was a series of small steps that led to the Big Bang. There is no Big Bang. Let me tell you, the shrinking we go through in life is not necessarily going to be something that happened at once. It is piling up some small little things over and over again. And by the time you're looking back, you have a chain, a long mountain you've been climbing or shrinking. It is not just something that happens like this. So the second thing that is going to make you to shrink, listen to this. This is something that we do. It's something that is affecting even myself. The second thing that makes human beings to shrink is procrastination. Uh All of us at some point in time we are affected by procrastination. Sometimes we want some motivation, some inspiration to come before we can get out. We want to be inspired enough and our gauge of inspiration is on full tank. That's when we want to act and that's not ideal every single day. I mean, it's not going to be happening every single day to have a full tank of motivation and full tank of inspiration so that you can be able to do something. At times, it is just going to be grit. At times, it's just going to be pure discipline. At times, it's just going to be pure effort expended. And then the motivation and the inspiration that you're looking for full tank catches on as you're going ahead. And that's why at times procrastination is a big thing. Every moment you're procrastinating, every moment you're saying that you're not going to leave today, you're going to leave tomorrow, guess what? You've made a decision to shrink that particular day. And we've said the most important time is the now, today, right now, right here. Because right now, right here, you can do stuff. You can do things, not tomorrow. If you put off what you can do today for tomorrow, you have chosen to shrink and by the way let me tell you let me tell you the anatomy of procrastination for the most part for the most part the thing that you're replacing to do the thing that you are doing today instead of what you are putting off it is mostly something that is not productive it is mostly something that is not challenging it is mostly something that is not valuable something that is not going to increase your worth and increase your value it is something that is feeding on your ego feeding on your comfort feeding on your coziness something just you know something that is not challenging you in any way for the most part that is procrastination And you know that the thing that you need to do is the most important thing. But it needs effort. It needs you to apply yourself. It is not funny. It is maybe not comfortable. It is maybe not straightforward. It needs you to engage your mind, engage your body. It needs you to be uncomfortable in some way. That's why you are saying, I want some more motivation. I want a conducive environment to be able to do it. There's never going to be a conducive environment. The only conducive environment you need is when you're setting up some environment when you want to engage someone, you know, give a ring and so on and so forth. And even that one, it doesn't have to be conducive. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait for the perfect time to do some things. You are not in control of time. You don't give birth to time. You don't create time. It is not something that you can manage. You are not the creator of time. You are the manager of events within your vicinity today, right now, because it is now that you're breathing. It is now that you have the opportunity, not tomorrow. You don't know about tomorrow. You do not know what tomorrow is bringing forth. So every moment there is an opportunity for you to do something and you don't do it, you have chosen to shrink. And the problem is that this can become some kind of 
serial procrastination and you become addicted to this procrastination where every single day something and it becomes a habit you settle in the moment you start justifying your procrastination ladies and gentlemen that's the moment you know for sure that you have a problem that's the moment you know for sure that you are embedded in the procrastination mode and you'd rather have comfort you'd rather surf the internet you'd rather go on social media you'd rather watch some movie click here and click there than do what you're supposed to do that is productive so procrastination is a killer of your light it makes you to shrink instead of shining you know we procrastinate mostly because we know quote unquote that we are assured of tomorrow you know that tomorrow is coming so okay today let me just click a few minutes here and there and maybe just let me sit back and watch some kind of football and some kind of tv but tomorrow i'll do it i promise i'll do it tomorrow when it comes i'll do it tomorrow is gonna come and the tomorrow you're talking about it is the same tomorrow it is the same day as today because it hasn't changed it doesn't come purple tomorrow does not come in purple it doesn't come in red it's not coming yellow it comes the same way today came same amount of minutes same amount of hours the only equation that is changing is you you are growing or you are regressing. You are shining or you are shrinking. You are going up or you are going down. There is no middle ground. You are the person that is changing. Not tomorrow. Not the day. You are the most common denominator in it. You are the one to make the decision to do stuff. If you don't do it today, believe me, you have chosen to shrink. But I know it's very paradoxical because on this very podcast, there's an episode where we shared and we said every new day is a day to start over. New mercies, new day, new promise, new opportunities to start over. But you cannot be doing that with procrastination every single day. I have a new opportunity to start over. And then the day comes and you don't start and you postpone and you procrastinate and you push forward what you could do today. You keep doing that and doing that every single minute you expend not shining probably is a minute that you will not recover. Someone say that the most conducive environment you can create <laughs> to be able to do things is the environment of panic. Last minute panic. And last minute panic, by the way, does not give you a blessing, does not make you shine. It makes you only to survive. Someone said only put off. Until tomorrow, what you are willing to die having left undone. As in, it must be undone today. That's why I can do it tomorrow. But as long as today you can read a book, my friend, read the book and shine. As long as today you can hug your wife, my friend, hug her. As long as today you can pray Pray as long as today you have an opportunity and your mind has told you to exercise some spiritual discipline like fasting, fast. That's how you're shining. And your shining is not necessarily something that you're feeling good about. No. Some things are some things that are supposed to be disciplining us. Some things are stewardship things that are coming with sweat, blood and tears. But that's how we shine. Shining is not necessarily something that is going to be cozy, something that is going to be funny, something that is going to be easy to do. No, not necessarily. And that's why we are prone to procrastination. We always procrastinate that which is looking for blood, sweat, and tears. That which is looking for us to expend our efforts. We find ourselves procrastinating it. See, someone said, I can't think about that right now. If I do, I'll go crazy. I'll think about that tomorrow. That's procrastination. Ah, It doesn't help at all. You may delay, but time is not going to wait. Time is not going to 
delay. Procrastination is the thief of time. A big thief of time. Don't ever fall into that trap. The moment you every moment you catch yourself, every moment you find yourself saying I will do it tomorrow and you have an opportunity to do it now and to do it today, you are shrinking instead of shining. Nothing robs us of our power like procrastination does. Nothing breeds mediocrity. Oh Lord, like procrastination does. You want to be, maybe you might be such a gifted guy, such a talented person, such a sharp human being, but you can become a ball of mediocrity by nothing else but procrastination. And the moment you start engaging in this game of mediocrity, the moment you start engaging in this game of procrastination, your light starts dimming, your light starts flickering, and you start shrinking there and then. You start making it possible for you to shrink instead of shining. Come to think of it, by the way, if your life depended on it, and it actually does. See, we normally think that uh, my life does not depend on reading that article. My life does not depend on me sitting down to listen to Les Brown or Tony Robbins or one of these motivational people and listening to them teaching us one or, one or two things. My life maybe is not on the line. If your life depended on it, and I'm sure you will find a way to come up with a solution. If your life depended on it, I am so sure you will come up with a solution to do it today. But just because you want comfort, you will excuse yourself, you will justify it, and you will let it go and you will not do anything. See, comfort should not be your main goal in life. And I've talked about this in this podcast. Whenever you find yourself that comfort is the thing you are pursuing, you're pursuing after being comfortable. You want to have a comfortable life. You are not a candidate of shining. And I'm not saying that comfort is something that we should shun. No, it is something that is a byproduct of our shine. The more you are shining, the more you can become comfortable. See, that's how it works. It, it is not that we are supposed to wake up and the very goal that we are supposed to be looking for is money and comfort, money and comfort and good things and nice food and nice clothing and, all, and so on and so forth. Those are things that are byproducts. Those are things that Jesus Christ said are the things. He said, seek ye first the kingdom and all his righteousness. He has no problem with these things. He has no problem with a car. He has no problem with you flying around from one place to another. He has no problem with you dining in a top-notch restaurant restaurant he has a problem with these things having you and you procrastinating to do what you need to do today and you having these things becoming a priority in your life comfort should not be your main goal in life solutions to problems adding value adding impact adding influence on the face of the earth should supersede your need to become comfortable and so, I am talking about comfort because I know at the center of procrastination, at the center of this animal called procrastination, there is comfort. Seeking to be comfortable. Lacking discipline, enjoying the comfort of the moment and waiting until panic mode hits, which is way too late for you to shine your light. Not this. Every time you find yourself procrastinating, postponing things that you could do today for tomorrow, you are not shining, you are shrinking. Take a look at your life today and take a toll. Is that happening? Is that going on? How fast are you? How prompt are you to implement ideas? How prompt are you to have a timetable? By the way, do you have a timetable for your day that says today you're going to read for 30 minutes, you're going to listen for 30 minutes, you're going to meditate for X number of minutes, you're going to do something constructive with your mind, with your body, with your spirit? Or are you saying you're going to do it tomorrow or we're going to run the marathon next year? Do it now. As long as you are alive, you don't know about tomorrow. 
shine on today because you have the opportunity now as you're breathing we're going to continue with the next thing that is going to make your light to dim and make you to shrink out of this life tomorrow and i'm not procrastinating because today you're listening to me (laughs) for now bye-bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.